Right, hello everybody and welcome to the replay analysis of game number six in the DBBC qualifier, the German league. I'll put a link down below if you want to check out the, the German DBBL, I think it is the Blood Bowl 2 league. Uh, but also the DBBC is like the tabletop tournaments and everything, which I might go to one, you never know. Um, so this was the final, effectively. Um, I was 5-0, and uh, Panico Black's 4 0 one at this point. Um, we've got exactly the same skills we've taken a strip dancer, a tackle dancer, a leader um, a leader thrower and two dodge linemen so we've, we've all taken exactly the same skills the difference is although he's just got a he's just got an extra reroll um, he did have one reroll plus leader and an apple whereas I went with two rerolls plus leader um, also he won the coin toss and chose to receive and I would have kicked anyway so it all worked out um, fine. So there you go. So yeah, as it, as it happened, um, you know, if, if I drew this game, I qualified, he, he had to win. Um, a draw would see me qualified, but then plus with other, with other results uh, would mean that I didn't even, I could lose, I could lose and still qualify, but never mind. We'll we'll go from it with no spoilers at all and see what happens. So I was a bit disappointed here that he got that extra reroll and used it immediately because had he been down to one reroll on offense, um, that would have been pretty good. I could have I would have gone all men's contact then actually. I probably if he was down to one reroll, really tried to force him to roll some dice. But um, he he didn't go for the tree hit, which surprised me because I would I was quite hap I would quite happily go for the tree, try to assert tree dominance here. Oh, one dice as well. Just because the 50-50 is stand up, isn't it? You're not you're not wasting your tree fighting the other tree. Whereas, like you know, if if you're playing a team who's got to commit six players to to hit a tree, then um, it's a bit of a waste. But you're only committing your, your tree and another guy. So so uh, yeah so that, that was a bit unfortunate wasn't it the le double skulls down to two makes me you know maybe i could have accepted it but I'm, I'm, you don't want to do you don't it, instinctive reaction to re-roll the double skulls in a war dancer um did put in the dodge guy there because i thought he could get you know he, it's it's hard for him to three dice me that's why i liked having two guys on on the tree i didn't hate it because now he can't three dice with his tree he could have just two dice my tree back i guess but um yeah, playing a bit passively there, turn one. Oh yes, and uh, it's on in the chat saying this is this is chase cam. So because Panico Black is receiving, we're doing the old chase cam, which is whoever receives gets the camera behind them. I like that because it gives me a different it gives me a different perspective as well on watching the replay. So um, yeah, it, it would be make sense to have me on on the bottom, but uh, I do like having it this way. To see whoever's received. So he is, he's he's relying on this dodge, isn't he? He's got a he's got a dodge away. Ooh. And then just two D one of these. So yeah, he hit, he hits the guy without dodge. Funnily enough, he could have, he would have powered the guy with dodge, but I, I didn't hate putting a guy with dodge on him because then I thought it's unlikely to knock him over, isn't he? So I mean, again, it's like I don't really want to go for the ball here just because the the recovery isn't great, is it? Um, I could have done though. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been that bad. But again, you know, you just want to play, play safe, don't you? Two dice is three, take a ball down. <laughs> what I want to do is, what I want to do in this match is kind of make it hard for him to move forward. So then when he does move forward, it's not completely protected. And then I can sack him, isn't it? That's, that's like kind of the idea that everyone wants to do in a mirror, in an elf mirror, I, I would think. Keep it tight. Don't let him get forward. So then when he does go forward, he's a bit exposed. So 
So you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the blocks he's giving me, including on the tree. <laughs> Normally, it's a mistake to swarm the tree for a two dice block, but I don't even I don't even care here. He's not. I'm not interested in attacking the ball yet. This is a bit of a shame because I could have used the block to hit that guy, couldn't I? But never mind. Only strength two, so it wasn't easy. Keep standing up. Keep standing up after getting knocked down. And I was hoping to I was hoping to put his tree down and then move my tree somewhere. That was the idea. Exposing catches isn't great, is it? Especially as the strength two, so they can base them. But I only had one normal lineman. I guess I'd used the uh, thrower's leader, so I could have exposed the thrower a bit more than I have done. But again, it's just cagey. It's just cagey. Uh, cagey not doing much at the moment, isn't it? Do I have three dice with a tree here? I feel like I should. I'll be disappointed if I don't three dice with a tree here. Oh yeah. It's tree time. Do nothing. But base the ball. One in thirty six to win almost, isn't it there? <laughs> and also it's only dodge guys basing his trace so they can run away next turn. And still it's not easy for him to break through as well, like the defence was okay. So I didn't I didn't hate getting the uh, getting the tree back there. Right, diving tackle tree is actually it's actually a re what what some people will do. It's it's not a bad shout. It's what uh it's what fiction could have taken. Oh no, he didn't he didn't have the he didn't have the tree. Would have been an idea though, uh seeing as he did, did take a doubles, didn't he? he? Took a guard catcher. Maybe he could have had a diving tackle tree. It's, it's not bad a diving tackle tree. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody who plays tabletop who always takes a diving tackle death roller, which is Pretty fun. This is I'd make a few one in thirty sixes here. I wasn't happy about about forcing myself into having to roll these one in thirty six dodges to make everything safe. But there you go. Cheeky removal. Turn aside now. Again, I'm just just trying to protect my dancers and keep them open to anything. Take the blocks that I've got. So yeah, he's not he's not getting anywhere really, is he? Moves I shouldn't have blocked there with that tree, because Now it's given him this blitz pretty easily, hasn't it? Yeah, that's where, that's where he's blitz. So maybe I shouldn't have made that block. Especially as I could have rooted or double skulled or whatever. So now he's got quite a good, quite a good progression over here, hasn't he? Now 
I mean, this tree being once web, I couldn't have changed anything actually. So. Apart from the assist, would have been in a different spot. Would have meant he would have needed a pow though instead of a, a push was good for him here. Whereas if I, if the tree being here, he needed a pow. Yeah, three turns left. I think I go for the the ball sack this turn. Um, bit out of bit out of position, but then also got a nice uh, also got the nice chance of recovery. I, I think. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this, you know. I think I should. I, well, I think well, I messed up here. Looking at it, looking at it, I, I let. I think I leap in here to try and push him this way. But actually, maybe I should have leapt in that way, push him that way. Then this guy could have got the reception. Hmm. But anyway, do some safe moves ish. Like I'm a bit out of position. To be fair, I got quite a few players over that side, so it's not. It's not great. Yeah, going in, went in from the side to, like, I wasn't unlikely to get a good bounce, really. Uh, but yeah, got the got the leap in the strip. And then he caught it himself, and I thought for a while before, because I thought I don't want to do, you know, 4 plus dodges and 4-3. I could have 4 3 2 out. But again, people were, I, I was quite the wrong side, really. Wanted to shut down that catcher, and just get people around the middle. That was a lovely, a lovely route by the tree there. It means he has wasted a player to bring in the assist. Doesn't tackle him, but he does have the two dice from strip. He uses a blitz on it, gets the pow. To add insult to injury. And then adds injury to injury by uh, stunning him. And then the ball scatters to the, to the thrower. Now this is a huge three plus leaper that he does here. Um... And now, he, now he's got no reroll for the dodge here, or for any other dodges. I mean, okay, this one's actually got dodge, but... Uh, 2 plus dodge, 2 plus handoff without any rerolls. Makes them both. And, uh, gets out of it all. Makes another little cage. You know, maybe, maybe I went a little bit too soon there. Maybe I could have waited a turn before going for the sack, but... I thought it was okay going for the sack there. And I've got a got a catcher here, haven't I? It's a scoring threat. Very, very good scoring threat there. So obviously gonna go in for a going and going for a ball sack again here. So <laughs> I I do these, right? Do all the moves here. And I'm like, right. Done everything done everything right. He's off. He's off to catch it. He goes to cover this. So then obviously the plan here is, right, if I leap to here, then I can push him this way, and I've got the catcher there ready to ready to pick it up, run eight squares and pass it, yeah? Brilliant. I've, I've, I'm pushing in the right way. Much Really, really likely to get a good bounce here. I could also go with the thrower if I want. Um, you know, if I want to do the path. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't select blitz. Brilliant. I was pathing out how many squares it would take to run around and leap to there. And I didn't press blitz. Outrageous. So I base the people, he blitzes and it's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. So um, yeah, who knows what would have happened if I had actually done what I wanted to do and blitz. blitz. It was only with tackle, it wasn't with strip. So it wasn't, it wasn't super likely to have worked. Uh, worked out it would have been 44% to get the sack. If I'd got the sack, there would have been a decent chance of a decent scatter, and then who knows what would have happened. So, uh, yeah, that was that was, <laughs> that was was really annoying to have not to have not gone for that, uh, not gone for the blitz there. I was just trying, p trying to path out the route. Uh, funnily enough, which I did in the intro game with Fash, yeah. <laughs> I tried to path out the route and, uh, and just did it. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. For the benefit of the stream, but there you go, I did. Uh, so now it's a, a one turn touchdown attempt. Uh, Panico Black does this. Now, this is 
This is not what I recommend as a one-turn touchdown defense. I thought it was a very weak. He's given me a dodge guy to hit. Now, if he doesn't have dodge's manual, this is a disadvantage. If he's got dodge's manual, it's fine. But he's got three, three abreast, which is not good. And he's letting me hit from here as well, which is not good as well. So the, either these should have been one square forward, so I couldn't hit and I'd have to use the hole method. But I don't even have to use the hole now. This was a really, really poor one-turn touchdown defense from him. Um, very, very poor one-turn touchdown defense. I did think for ages to make sure I got it all right. And he got an extra reroll, it didn't matter. Nice being right next to the thrower, like it was. So yeah, getting the uh, getting the second assist, get the push, and then get the get the throw one square four on the first block. Pretty good. Also in one tackle zone. So now it's now is the time to uh, do a handoff. Got a handoff. And, and then I can get the power on the second block. So you know, I only because he did, because he didn't make me use the whole method. I only needed to one push and then a power was good. Um, and now he's in range. And yes, it's a lot of dice, but he's in range, and he rolls the dice. Glorious. So there you go, Klinsman, one one thanks to one turn. But yeah, I mean, the whole string of dice rolls. You know, I don't know what the odds were exactly, but it was definitely a poor. Although, although I got lucky to roll the dice that I needed to to an extent, it was a poor defense by him, I think. So now, of course, I've been outbashed, <laughs> but only a KO, so it's not not the end of the world, is it? Um, Ten v eleven, one one. If I score at any time, I haven't lost, which is the important thing. Uh, so, you know, maybe he's, maybe I should have gone for a faster score. Uh, but I don't know, I mean, any any tactics are available. Any tactics are available at this point, aren't they, really? Maybe I should have defended against a Blitz more than putting these guys on. I thought about it after I'd set up like this. I thought maybe these guys should not be there in case he gets a blitz, but I thought it's not terrible against a blitz. And then he doesn't get a blitz. Now because because the ball's so deep, um I think I just want to stay away from the from the stripper here. <laughs> block with block seems good. I don't know if I'd have re-rolled these blocks or not, to be honest. I guess I wouldn't have done since the ball was so deep. Protect the tackle guy. Knock, knock over his tree. I'm really surprised he didn't try to knock over my tree. Hey. So yeah, I counted the squares and uh, kept him away from the uh, stripper. You know, obviously now if he if he if he makes a, some kind of surge down, I can just run away from him, can't I? So I, I don't mind keeping it really far back like that, especially when it's one one and and he has to win, and I don't have to win. But he is, he is play, playing a bit passively here, isn't he? A bit of contact over there, not a lot. And he's basing a guy who's got dodge anyway, so it's not, not super important. Cower in the backfield. <laughs> Let's the tackle. Oh, 
Again, I'm not in a rush to score here, being 1-1. One, one. Just trying to make make the make the screen in case I rolled a one in nine with a tree. I don't want to get punched by said tree, so I'll go back. This is good, I guess this is a bad spot for me because he could have 2D with tackle into 3D with block into another 3D. So maybe I are into the tree, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. And also this guy maybe should have gone there so he couldn't have got the assistant. He makes a foul. Dirty Dino. That's a KO. Wow, down two players now. Not good, is it? Not good being down two players. But again, he's not he's not putting any pressure on, so I'm just gonna stay back. Used to re-roll on that. That was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? With only three re-rolls. Maybe I shouldn't have tried that on a re-roll. <laughs> but there you go, I did. I didn't got the pal. But maybe I should have just accepted that. Being down two players. He he accepted his double skull. <laughs> and got punished for it but he is I used his apple so so you know if he'd gone with the extra reroll he would have just rerolled that but instead he used his apple so um you know six and two threes between the apple and the reroll there wasn't it he only had two so he didn't really want to he didn't really want to use his reroll there did he whereas with three I had a, I had a luxury reroll for that one Yeah, I, I expected him to uh, to come for the ball more than... Well, he didn't come for the ball at all. I expected him to come for the ball a little bit. <laughs> you know, he has to win here and I don't have to win. I, I could even lose. It doesn't, you know, if for all he knows. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to spoil what the situation was at the start of the game. But, um, you know, a draw definitely qualifies me 100%. And a draw definitely doesn't qualify him 100%. So he had to win. Um, I just came through up for a little bit, still couldn't get stripped. You know, count of the squares between between the stripper, but got a little bit forward in case he uh, in case he tried to put some pressure on. He failed to stand up finally, so that was something. I really wanted to foul the the war dancer. Yeah, really, the only thing I care about is, well, I care about both dancers, don't I? I care about the tackle dancer and I care about the strip ball dancer, but both of the both of them I care about. Obviously, I care the tackle for the attrition side. He can knock down all my catches and my dodge linos, and he can cast the dancers, whereas the stripper is much more likely to get the ball. Looks like I'm going in for a foul here, doesn't it? Cheeky pal. So he has put someone behind my lines now, so now I am going to move up and try to protect the ball a bit. But obviously this does put him in stripping range, so it's scary, and to be honest, I, I, I fucked it up a bit. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you why I fucked it up, because I wanted this guy to be where, there, and then I wouldn't have had to move this guy, so then I could have had something here, whereas it, as it is, I've just let him run through and hit from behind. So I really should have had an extra person out there. Maybe even this one could have been out there. At least one to make it a bit harder for him to run through here. Yeah, but then there's then then I dodge away and foul with the the tree assist. Had to foul him just because he's a war dancer. 
um, and got lucky with a Kaz. So uh, the trade there is absolutely fine, isn't it? Even though it puts me down to eight players total. He's on nine, but he's lost half of his team, really, with losing one of the war dancers. But yeah, he's obviously going to go in now because he's got... I just left this way too exposed. I really should have... This, this catcher should have been here or here. Very poor. Very poor to, to complete, like, the, the kind of cage there. Here. So anywhere, anywhere except where he was. And he does the leap in. And luckily for me, he's used the reroll on that, on that one, on the leap one in three failure. So he gets the one in three failure on the strip. So that was it was a dream result for me after leaving the strip on. Um, absolutely dream result. But yeah, I really shouldn't have left it on. I should have uh, maybe not fouled, but may maybe just moved differently to uh, to screen with the players that I had available there. But as it happened. We've got to surf, lads, boys, lads, if I can roll pushes. So he did have dodge optional and he chose to use it there. Which, I don't know if he hadn't seen the, the surf or if he was just, you know, being optimistic or whatever. But I was always going to go for the surf against a, against a freaking war dancer. And rolled all the dice. Oh, baby. Because again, I don't care too much about scoring, about winning here. I just have to not lose, right? So now I've removed both war dancers. <laughs> the strip gone, the trackle gone. So while this makes it harder for me to win now, with only two turns left after this, um, I really, I really thought it was worth getting rid of his, you know, number one, number one threat to me, to number one threat to him winning anyway. But he is going to be able to get a one dice on the ball. That was the, that was the only bad thing. He was guaranteed to be able to get a one dice on the ball. Well, not guaranteed. If you rolled some dice, you could get a one dice on the ball. Which he does. It just <laughs> runs all the way around. One dice on the ball. Easy pow. Never, never any doubt. <laughs> And gets a Kaz as well. Absolutely brutal. Um, <laughs> that's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? So now I've lost four and he's lost three. So, And his guy's got the ball as well. So I thought about just blocking with the, with the dancer here and then blitzing with somebody else. But then I thought, if I'm going to score, because I wanted to score... Um, I've got a blitz, haven't I? So just go straight for the blitz. Get the pow. And the absolute number one best possible scatter. Just do run around, seeing as 3 plus 2 plus with dodge is better than a leap. Although it, although it makes me move less. Squares forward. Did these one at a time, even though it didn't really matter because I was always going to go for it. And then this guy can run around to try and screen as well. But he won in nines. So yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Now it's really hard for him to meet up. It was really hard for him to power me again and then get the ball and score. So I, I think it was definitely the right player to surf that, the stripper, but it was definitely the wrong player to give him such a good chance to strip it, for sure. And he was he was a touch unlucky, wasn't he, with a, the leap strip not working. It was pretty good, so pretty good odds overall for that to work. And then he made, he ran around to do the GFI to get me push me away, and then failed his GFI and died. Uh, did he need a GFI? I don't know. I think he was looking for a push anyway, wasn't he? He had to win. Stopping me scoring here doesn't do him any favors, so I don't know. But then I just dodged out and scored two one up. It's whether he can score a one turn or not, and I don't have enough players to do a proper one turn defence. One comes back. Three, six, seven, eight. He's got eight, so he's got enough nine players, so he's got enough players to do it, but 
I've only got eight, so it's hard to do a good defense, but I still managed better than he did. <laughs> um, yeah, I think my defense is better than his because, you know, he can't... If he blitzes this way, he's got to use the whole method. He could dodge around here and hit there, not using the whole method. So I guess this was the way to do it, was to dodge three plus, two plus, and then hit him. But then he can't get assists on him. So... You know, it, it it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It wasn't a bad defense, I don't think. As good as I could have done. And he gets an extra reroll, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what 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 he's going for. He's because he's gone for the whole method. Well, he didn't need to. But he fails the pickup. <laughs> and fails the pass. <laughs> so he was pretty unlucky with the dice rolls. Um, I did a leap instead of a dodge, that was poor, wasn't it? He could have he could have done three plus two plus dodge instead of instead of a leap. But never mind. Um, so he failed he failed his one turner. I scored mine, that was the end of the day we both had pretty successful drives um, and yeah with that win I I won the DBBC qualifier and became the first person to qualify for the World Cup so that's pretty good isn't it so uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic